So I'm not gonna be drinking boba tea again, and you might not want to either after I show you this. Here's the top 10 foods that had the highest amount of BPA from the Plastic List study. So there was this really cool project, it's called PlasticList.org. And basically these tech guys, they went and tested like 500 of commonly used items for different chemicals from plastic, specifically phthalates and bisphenols. BPA, bisphenol A, this was banned from all baby bottles and sippy cups here in the United States over a decade ago because it is known to be so harmful to human health. Okay. However, there are no regulations on it in anything else, right? Like nothing. But in the EU, just this year, they've completely banned it from food contact materials and they started banning some of the bisphenol replacements like BPS and BPF. So BPA is linked to breast cancer, prostate cancer, testicular cancer, obesity, diabetes, infertility, and other female reproductive issues like fibroids and endometriosis, with sperm count, testosterone issues. I'm going to go through the top 10 things that had the highest amount of BPA that they tested. Number one was Boba Guy's Black Tea Pearls. And this sucks because I love boba, but like, what did we think was happening with the tapioca pearls? Like those are obviously cooked in plastic. That's what's happening, right? 37,571% of the tolerable daily intake for BPA. That is according to the EU's safety standards, which are actually based in science instead of the United States. Number two, tap water with AquaTabs purification tabs after 30 minutes. That's pretty nuts, y'all. Um, number three, what guys, fruit, fruity flavor tea, 14.8 thousand above the tolerable daily intake. Do you feel bad for boba guys? But I would imagine that every single boba tea company is exactly the same. Now their website is showing like an error message. And um, yeah, even in their kit, they were including a stainless steel straw. Number four, Wild Planet Albacore Wild Tuna. <laughs> boba guys black tea juice. Number five, um, Spam canned meat. I mean, who really thought that was going to be healthy? This one didn't surprise me, but other people are going to be surprised. Annie's Organic Classic Cheddar Mac and Cheese. Yeah, I mean, again, they also had really high levels of phthalates, but we've literally known that since 2017, and they keep saying, we're going to phase out the phthalates, and then they don't, because that's what every company does when they, when they commit to removing chemicals. Unless there is a law where they legally have to, they will not remove the toxic chemical. It's not going to happen, and sure enough, they didn't. Next, Stanford University dining meal. They were obviously cooking that in plastic. And this one was interesting. Starbucks medium roast black coffee. That's from the coffee cup, y'all. Don't drink hot drinks out of paper cups that are lined in plastic because then you just end up drinking it. Number 10 was a Shake Shack cheeseburger. It was 3,598% of the tolerable daily intake and it most likely came from the packaging. 